guys, so it's the morning before work. Oh, there goes my spatula. <laughs> Anyways, I'm making some scrambled eggs, and I've already checked in for my flight because my flight tomorrow is that early. My flight's at 6.30, so I checked in right at 6.30 this morning, and like, oh, it's going to be so early, you guys. My flight is at 6.30, so I have to be at the airport by 5.30 which means I have to leave by 4.30, which means I have to be awake by 3.30. Oh, God. I'm going to have to try so hard to be in bed early tonight. It's going to be hard because I have a lot of lot packing to do and cleaning to do and just, like, little things. And then i got to upload the vlog. It's going to be crazy. But, okay, WestJet has this new rule where for flights within Canada, you have to check in at least 45 minutes before this, your flight is set to depart. And I usually get to the airport an hour before, but I always check in in advance. Like, I've already checked in, but does that include, I have no idea if when they say check in, they mean check in, print your bag tags, and go through security, because then that's an issue. Yes, I've checked in, but I still need to go to the little kiosks to print my bag tags, and then I need to go through security. So I am I would like to leave a little bit earlier than then it, like usually I'd leave an hour beforehand, so I'd like to leave maybe an hour and 15 minutes beforehand. But there's no bus that early. There's a bus that leaves at 4.40, and I should get to the airport around, like, around exactly 5.30, according to Google Maps. But that's kind of pushing it, so, like, I'm hoping all goes well. We'll see. What the hell? It's already snowed twice this year? Ay! So I just stopped at a mall to go to the bathroom and I'm actually on my way to deposit my paycheck. I normally don't come this way on the train unless I'm depositing my paycheck because there's a bank just one stop away from where I work. So I'm on my way there right now and yeah, just got off work and I'm just like a teensy bit tipsy. I'll give you the lowdown on that in a little bit when I'm not in public surrounded by cars who are looking at me funny for filming myself. Okay, bye. <laughs> So I just deposited my check and now I'm waiting for the train and I'm actually filming this on my phone because I don't have my digital camera on me. It's weird because I usually bring it to work every day even though I don't film anything while I'm at work. And then the one day I don't bring it is the day I actually film stuff after work so it's great. And I probably would have brought it but I didn't think of it when I was packing my bag. I was kind of in a rush. But anyways, um, I think instead of going to the airport tomorrow morning I'm actually going to go tonight because of all the snow, the roads are super slushy. There's accidents everywhere. Like, there's not much snow in Vancouver, so when it does snow, no one knows how to drive, and everything goes to hell. So, because basically, if everything was perfect, I'd probably make it there on time, but I think it's just better if I go tonight, and then I'll just sleep there at the airport, because I don't want to risk losing my spot on the plane this is a $600 flight. I spent all my money on it, so I want to for sure get there. And uh, normally I just take the train all the way to the airport, but because it's so early, one of the train lines is not running that early, so I'd have to take a bus, transfer to a different train, which is running that early, and just take the train the rest of the way. But the problem is that bus leaves later than I want it to. I'd make it just barely on time. If I'm a little bit late, they won't let me check it. Well, I've already checked in. I explained it this morning. but. It's gonna be cutting it super close, and now since it's snowy and no one knows how to drive, like even there were buses that had to get there, had to get rerouted because of accidents. One of which is the bus I'm taking tomorrow morning. <laughs> I'm sure the accident's cleared up by now, but it's just I don't want to risk it. So I think I'm just gonna leave around midnight and just go to the airport. I'm gonna have to double check when the last train is. I might have to leave a bit earlier than that, but this is kind of good because. Not only is it protecting me from potentially missing my flight, also I can stay up later tonight. I'm going to be staying up late. I don't have to worry about being in bed by 9 p.m. I can just stay up and get done what I have to get done. Then I'll go to the airport at midnight and then I'll just sleep at the airport until my flight. So I think that's the best course of action. So that's what the plan is. Everyone's looking at me weird. There's a lot of people at the station and they're just looking at me like I'm some kind of psycho. Okay, bye. So I just walked over to my computer desk to grab my camera and as I'm turning away I instinctively turn on my monitor and I'm like, what are you doing Bailey? You just came here to grab your phone. Like, As I'm turning away from the computer I'm turning on the monitor. It's like a reflex. Oh my god. Meh. My scalp is still blue because I didn't wash my hair this morning. But I will be showering tonight before I go to the airport so yes. 
But yeah, it sucks. I either have to go to the airport at midnight or last minute in the morning. There's no in-between. It sucks. Ugh. I mean, there is a bus that runs around 2 a.m., but then the tr none of the trains will be running at 2 a.m. So I'm just going to leave before the trains stop running. And then I'll be good to go. So I'll tell you guys my work story about what happened today and why I left work tipsy. <laughs> so it was a normal morning, aside from the fact that I spent the first like hour trying to figure out the rig I was using because I haven't had any problems with it so far, but I was using FK Arms this whole time. And then I got to a shot where I had to use IK Arms, and then I realized that the IK Arms would translate just fine, but I couldn't rotate the wrist. It would When I rotate the controller, the, the wrist wouldn't actually move. But the thing is, it works fine on everyone else's computers except mine. And the, the problem, this problem actually, I found out about this last night at work. And I had my superior kind of like take a look at it and try to figure it out, and he couldn't figure it out. And he wasn't there today, so I was trying to look into it this morning, and... Couldn't figure it out, so I gave up on that shot and moved to a different one where I could just use FK arms. If you know anything about animation, sorry for those who don't. And um, so anyways, then I finally got to work, and I was working away, and then I had my lunch around 1 o'clock, and we knew that the building was having this kind of like Christmas celebration thing at 2 p.m., so me and the two other girls who work there, we went and had our lunch, and we went back into the office, and... No one else was there because they were gone to a meeting. And so it was just the three of us. And we were kind of working, but we were mostly just chatting because we knew that that lunch thing was happening in less than half an hour, that Christmas party thing. So we were just kind of like wasting time and just telling stories about like bad, like nightmares of when we all worked in retail or in restaurants and all that stuff. And then so the time came to go to that Christmas thing. So we went there and they had free booze. They had beer and wine. And then they had a bunch of food. There was a cake. There were cookies. There was a veggie tray and trays with meat, cheese, and crackers. So there was like a whole spread there. So we were there for a while, actually. And I had a glass of wine. And then I started drinking a beer. And then we decided to leave. So I just brought it to my computer with me. And I'm like... Mm, drinking while I'm working. This is awesome. <laughs> and then about an hour later, we we're just kind of like looking at each other like, mm, the one girl was like, I want another cookie. And I was like, I want another beer. And so we just like went back and stayed there longer. And it was funny because this little thing was only supposed to happen from two to three, but it kept going all the way till 5.30 till when we left. Because when we went back there, we ended up staying for the rest of the day. And it's funny because the two receptionists were kind of in charge of this thing. Okay, because I work in a building where there are a lot of other companies in there. And it's just kind of like a big office building where a bunch of offices are. It's not just our company. There's other companies. So there's other people there that we don't know. And the receptionists were, like, so drunk when we went there the second time. It was so funny and just, like... We were just drinking with them, and then the guys who were in the meeting came and joined us, and they're just like, we're just drinking and having a jolly good time until the end of the day. So it was such a slack day. We got, like, almost no work done. It was so fun. So I ended up... Oh, also, I'm going to get tonight's vlog uploaded before I go to the airport, because once I'm there and I'm all checked in... Well, I'm already checked in. Why do I keep saying checked in? I mean, like, going through security. Once I'm done all that, I'm just going to go to sleep right away. So, Yeah. And I'm going to be bringing my neck pillow because one day I was at the dollar store and I came across one of those travel pillows and it's the kind that's, it's a beanie pillow, it's not a stuffed one, which is fine, I don't mind it, it's just a little noisy when your ear's right up against it, like you can hear it. Anyways, I'm going to bring this because I used to have so much trouble with my pillows, I don't know if I've mentioned this before in my vlogs, but... I used to have to tuck my pillows under my neck and then I also had to have them bunched up beside my ears because I wanted neck support and I wanted something to lean my head against and I could never get it right and it would take me forever to fall asleep just because I couldn't get comfortable and then the day I bought this thing it changed my life forever I can actually get comfortable and sleep well and it is just oh, it is glorious it has changed my sleeping experience so I'm going to be bringing this home and I might as well just bring it onto the plane, right? Because, I mean, it is a travel pillow. And that way, when I'm through security, I can just use it to sleep on while I'm at the airport. So it's going to work out great. And I'm excited. I still have to pack everything. I have to clean up my apartment so it's clean for when my boyfriend moves in. So since I'm leaving tonight, I'm just going to rip this off now. Da -na -na -na! 
So awesome news. The tube, I'm going to put my dad's picture in, actually fits in this large suitcase. I was going to bring this smaller one because there's a weight limit of 50 pounds and this one can get to 50 pounds so I don't even need the big one because it, it's a bigger suitcase so it weighs more so then I can't put as much stuff in it to get to the weight limit unless I have large items that are lighter but typically I just go with this smaller suitcase but if I can keep this tube in the suitcase I don't have to take it as a carry-on which is going to save me a lot of hassle because technically it's too big to carry on so they might make me check it but also I'd rather have an actual carry-on that I could put a lot of stuff in because when I come home well usually when I fly home my carry-on is empty or near empty but then when I come back it's full and uh, there's not much you can put in that tube like once I give my dad the picture I'm gonna have this empty tube like maybe I can stuff some clothes in it but like there's not a whole I can do with it as a carry-on so I think I'll just take my bigger suitcase, that way I can fit the tube in the suitcase and then I'm just going to pack an empty carry-on inside of here and then just use that carry-on on the way home. So this is going to work out nicely. Oh, by the way, look what I did to my pants when I was dyeing my hair the other day. Yep, that is not going to come out ever. Luckily this isn't my nicest pair of pajama pants. So I got all my clothes packed as well as everyone's presents and everyone's presents are basically wrapped into my clothes. But it's already pretty full. I mean, I can definitely fit a lot more on top of this because it's not quite flush with the top yet, and then you can always pile stuff on top. So I still have to pack, like, my toiletries and makeup and that kind of stuff. My sister and I want to live stream DDR one night while we're home, so be on the lookout for that if we can get everything working properly. My laptop is not very good at live streaming from, but we're going to try anyways. And if it doesn't work off my laptop, I'll try my sister's because hers is better than mine. But normally I live stream off my desktop, which is why I don't run into issues. So, I still have quite a few things to pack, actually. I will put some stuff in my carry-on, as long as it's not liquids or anything, or like scissors, something they'll get me for. So, I don't know, I think I'll be able to pack everything, so I'm pretty sure I'm not at the 50 pounds yet. I kind of did like a test weight, but I will weigh it on my scale once everything's packed. So I was just taking a little break from packing and I was checking Instagram and I saw this adorable picture by Coffeekin and it is me in the outfit I wore to the Christmas party and oh this is so cute and that hair is amazing. I wish my hair was actually that fabulous but they got all the details of the outfit. It is just so cute and the art is really nice. Oh phone is dimming. <laughs> I just love everything about it so thank you so much if you're watching this. So I have this little half size sketchbook and I cannot find it anywhere and I did lose it at one point and it turns out it was at my mom's house in Alberta and it's just like this coiled one but it's about half the size and this is usually where I keep my sketchbooks. I was drawing in that one the other day so that's why that one is out but I'm looking everywhere and I cannot find my small one because it's a good travel size. I think I'll just have to bring this miniature sketchbook instead. So I was just cutting up my vegetable stir fry and I was cutting up the onions and my eyes were burning so bad and I was like what the hell and then I quickly realized it's because I'm not wearing my contacts. If I'm wearing my contacts I don't feel any kind of pain when I chop onions and without my contacts it's like death. I could barely even see my eyelids were twitching so badly because it hurt so bad and I could barely see what I was cutting. could have cut my fingers off or something and even as I was cooking it it was burning and my eyes still hurt really badly but anyways I'm gonna sit down and eat it's already nearly 10 p.m. so I have two hours to edit and upload the vlog I have to shower and just finalize everything so I'm gonna edit the vlog right now and if I do end up filming anything else tonight which I don't know if I will but if I do it'll be part of tomorrow's vlog so good night guys and I'll see you tomorrow here it is here's the full picture so for the background I did just kind of like a little abstract sort of plant inspired design very square and interesting so I used two different shades of Copic for that and so that is how it all turned out in the end so we'll just do kind of like a little close